Uh, he gives us gives you this lecture seven. Oh, no, it's not lecture seven. Then lecture eight. I mean the note. Normally he brings the note uh, for that. He doesn't take it from the other. He just takes it only from the other. Oh, I see. Uh, so we used to do that. To have that. Right. So. Uh, well, I'll, I'll prepare some notes uh, for you anyway, for, for next week. So, but um, don't worry about notes at the moment. I will do the choking first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> it's a new topic today, uh, tidal energy. So, what what is tide? Okay, you are in Oman, so you know you know about tides, right? But, Maybe the word tide is the new for us. Okay. Uh, uh, tide is the uh, rise and fall of water uh, in the sea. So the water level in the sea, okay. it goes up and down because of a couple of reasons. Uh, we will see what the reasons are. Something like wave, yeah. Wave. Yes. It's like wave, but it's not exactly a wave. So uh, tide happens because, because of the rotation of the Earth as well as the moon and the sun. Okay. Now, in, in this picture, you see what happens actually. Um, so, because now there are two reasons. Now, this is a, this is the sun. So, because of the sun, there there is a gravitational force between the sun and the earth. Yes, because you know from Newton's law that if there are two masses between the two masses, there is a gravitational force, attractive force. So, but uh, our Earth is covered with, with water, yes? But water is, a, uh, it's, it's stuck to the Earth due to Earth's gravity, but because of the gravity of the Sun, the water slightly attracts to the Sun. That's what happens, okay? because even though it is far, it slightly attracts to the sun. Therefore, you, you, you have this shape. Uh, I mean, this is an exaggerated shape. So, when, when you have the sun facing the earth, now you, you, most of the time you, will, you have a high tide during the daytime, low tide during night time. That, that, is, that is due to the sun. And also, much closer than the sun, you have moon. Therefore, because of the moon as well, you have a gravitational force. So, that is called the lunar tide. Now, you have a solar tide. Solar tide is because of the sun. And a lunar tide is because of the energy technology. Yes. So, there are electronic students here as well? Yes, sir. Nice. And uh, <clears throat> lunar tide is because of the moon. Okay. And, and the, most of the time, uh, during full moon, uh, you will have high tide. And uh, when you don't, when you have half moon, you have or, or no moon at all. You will, have, you may have low tide. But uh, this is a the, the tide occurs as a result of a mixture of these two. So sometimes uh, um, I, I go to the beach almost every day. Sometimes uh, there is half moon or full moon, still there is, there is a high tide. That is because of the large waves that are created on the earth, on, on, in, in the sea. Okay. So because uh, if you take the sea as a large lump of water, large sum of water, when water goes up at that point, it should go down at the other, another point, yes? Because the total volume of water is constant. Okay. So it's like you, it's, it's like you fill a, a polythene bag with, or a balloon with water and press from one side, so on the other side you will have a change of volume or, or, or change of 
uh, or movement of the surface. Yes. So now this with these two figures, you can understand what how tide occurs. Yes. The causes for the, the main causes for the tides. So waves again, as you said, waves are different. Waves are not actually tides. Waves are formed by the movement of uh, air or, or the wind, mostly. Mostly by the wind and the other factors as well. There can, there can be seismic waves uh, uh, and there can be different. Due to tides, also there are there are waves, but not, not really uh, quick waves. So the waves that you see on the seashore is not due to tides. It's mainly due to the wind. <clears throat> and uh, so the tides are affected by the uh, rotation of Earth, rotation of the moon, rotation of rotation of Earth uh, around the orbit, orbiting of uh, Earth around the sun as well. Okay. Uh, so uh, due to these factors, you can see that uh, water level moves from that point to that point, or, or uh, moves between these. Uh, so, if you if you take uh, the water levels at a certain point, you can see these uh, uh, see this pattern, and uh, if you now, this, this is in, in days. So during a day, um, during a day, you can have a water level at that point, as well as a water level at that point. So during a day, it can it varies, okay. and during the month also it varies. So this this is called a spring. This is called a mean. So the the, due, the period in which you have the lowest tide, uh, tidal uh, change is called a leaf. And uh, in a, the, the period in which you have the highest difference in tide is called a, called a spring. Okay. Uh, clear? Good. This is a map of, uh, well, uh, Water levels or tide level, snap snapshot of uh, this kind of a snapshot of the uh, uh, of of the map. I, I, please. And. Uh, what, what is shown here is now, if you think of the earth or, or the boat level as flat, okay, if you think it is that, it as flat, so this this tells you uh, where you have uh, the different boat levels in the sea. Okay, uh, with, uh, so this is this is going from zero to one hundred and thirty centimeters. Okay? Is one meter difference uh, average levels, so it can go up and down. But this is the average. But this is not not a true picture. You will see later that uh, at places you can get uh, tides of up to nine meters. Tidal differences up to nine meters. How much is nine meters? Now how much is this? Yeah, two. This may be two point eight. There's not even three actually. Yeah, could be. Uh, <laughs> so uh, nine meters is uh, is three times this. Okay. Uh, so that is like three floors. And. Uh, these are uh, hot, uh, hot potential areas, so of areas where you have a uh, large uh, 
tribes. Um, so in France, you have one in Chile, in, that is in South Africa, Alaska, and in Canada, British Columbia, and uh, this is in, in Europe, actually. What do you mean by high? I mean, long distance goes back. Uh, high, high means the, the height of the tide, tide, difference in, in the tide. So. I mean, it's go back and then in the, in the sea is going back for long distance or the, the height of the sea, the level of the ocean? This one. Uh, th this is two meters, right? Mm -hmm. So if you have like nine meters, eight meters, that's cool. That, that's high. No, usually it averages around there, but uh, at places you can uh, you can have really high tides. Okay. And these are these are such uh, places like here, Magellan Strait. You you have like eight meter difference. What you mean of height? Wave height or tidal distance? The, diff the, the level, level of the tidal height, now water level now yeah. will go 9 meters. That's mean like width. Yeah, width is coming up. Yeah, yeah. the whole okay. water level rises up. Okay. It's not just, a, not just a wave. And the tide is at a distance. If you, when you go to the seashore, when you go when you go to the seashore, the water level at one point is like that. When you go six hours later, that water level has gone up like that for eight meters. The whole water level. It's not just a wave. The whole water level. Yeah, eight meter different. The level different is eight meter. Now, if you go to, uh, uh, I go to this beach very often, and sometimes in the, during the low tide, I can see the shore for like uh, uh, three, four hundred meters. And goes back. Goes back. That means low tide. And uh, sometimes the water water just comes to the to the edge of the shore itself, so I can't see any sand. So that means high, high tide. Okay. That's high tide. When you can see a lot of sand, that means low tide. Yeah. yeah. Here is only 1.5 meters above and down. I have a map. I'll show you. Uh, so uh, these are these are places where you have like you have I, Huge differences. Uh, Bristol uh, is, uh, is is in England. Normandy is in England. in France. Uh, so why is this area is high impact than the other areas? And in the beginning, you said that that's happening because of the uh, the rapidly appear here. Now, now, now areas, yeah. What what now? What, what happens is now. Um, it's sometimes difficult to uh, show like what, ha what happens now. Suppose suppose uh, you have a water tank, right? Suppose that that is that is the water that is the tank. Okay, take the sea as a large water tank. Okay, because of the uh, not, not your question. Because of the gravity, say you have this large. Now this is very large, okay? Because of the gravitational force, your water level will will go like that, right? And uh, then, if it goes like that, when the when you don't have the gravity, it will go like that, and and it will oscillate like this. Oh. Yeah, this, this. And it doesn't settle, that's the thing. Does it settle? No, it doesn't settle. It doesn't settle. 
No, it doesn't settle because you have the earth, you have the moon, you have the sun. They don't stay at the same place. They are, they are moving all the time. Because of that movement, this level moves up and down all the time. Okay? And that's, that's one reason. And the other is, now the bed of the sea is not, it's not flat like it, like this. Okay? When it comes to the, when it comes to the seashore, right? Now, your, your bed of the sea is something like this, isn't it? Now, that is land. That is the seashore, isn't it? So, your water is something like that. And it went up like this first, maybe. Then, when, it, when this goes down like that, this will go up like that. Okay? So, at the seashore, you will have more, the, the water level is going up more when there's land. And, and when you have uh, shallow sea, shallow water, shallow uh, seabed, your rise of water level is higher. When you have a deep seabed, the rise of water level is less. Sorry. Hello? Yeah, I'm at a lecture. Can I? Talk to you later, please. Uh, you can call me at after seven thirty. I'm sorry about that. Um, so uh, there are certain places where you have uh, volcanic seabeds. Volcanic seabeds means that uh, seabed has been formed due to volcanic activity long time ago. So at those places. Um, uh, Oh, this part of the world is, volcan uh, is, a, is, a, is an old volcanic uh, plate as well. So you have sea just after the land, which is like half, 500 meters, 1000 meters deep. Deep sea. That's those, at those places, the good thing about those places is you can see whales there. Whales are um, deep sea animals. Okay. So you, you can see whales uh, around. Oman and around Iran, etc. as well. That is because uh, you you have a deep seabed here around around here. So when you have a deep seabed, that rice you don't you don't get that much of a rice. No. There, at those places, you normally don't have a deep seabed. It, it's a shallow seabed, long shallow seabed, and. Uh, <coughs> Going, going uh, forward to uh, Oman, tidal, tidal uh, chart for Oman, oh, that is your tidal chart, so as you said, you said that, uh, so two meters, yeah, it's, uh, so this, this is what you call the actual average sea level, so it, it, it stays always uh, above that, but uh, that's your tidal movement. Now this is, uh, this is a night, this is a day, night, day, night, day like that. Uh, so, this is actually, um, what's the time now? For so, 5 o'clock, maybe? So, we are around, we, we are near here. So, it's somewhere here. That's the paper. So, the, I, I took it from, this, took, it, took this today. So, that. so there, there are nice tide, uh, ni ni you can get one app on your phone as well, uh, which tells you the uh, tide uh, and the weather as well. Right, now, um, this is all about tides, now we are going to talk about tidal energy, means what we are going to do is that, uh, you know, if, when, you, when you have a, a lump of mass at a height, that has a, that has some energy stored in it, which is the potential energy. So that means if you have a, not this, but if you have like four, five meter height, that means MGH is the energy that is stored in the, in the, in the height. 
that means if you can have a, an average height of something say for about example five, four or five meters you can uh, run a turbine with that uh, mass of water which is at a high level okay that is the simple technique that we use uh, to uh, generate tidal energy so <clears throat> We have uh, different uh, techniques to harness tidal, tidal energy. One is, uh, due, due to tide, you know that water flows from the sea to the shore or from shore to the sea. Yes, Large volume of water is coming from, it's moving. So we, we use that. So when the, when the water is moving to the, to, uh, towards the shore, what we do is we put a barricade there and trap that water until it goes down, goes back. During high tide, after, after the high tide, you put a barricade on and that water, that amount of water is trapped here. And when it is low tide, the difference between that amount of water and the low tidal water is the difference of the tide, of the height of the tides, yes? So it can be three meters, four meters or at some places it can be about eight nine meters okay. so <clears throat> a tidal barrage is something uh, a trap like that okay. so so when it the high tide you put a you you know, you close gates and collect that water and uh, through that gate you put a turbine so water only flows through that uh, gap through that turbine and the turbine rotates during the, due to this height difference and uh, then you have uh, what is called tidal fences the tidal fence is a is not actually a barrage where you uh, collect the water but you, uh, you you have a fence through which water flows and and you you have you have a turbine. So in, in here you look, it's, it's the same. It's the same amount of same, same level of water. The, in here the level of water is even. This, this is due to height. That, this this that, is due to flow. That fence is directly the water. Model. Sorry. And that this is the turbine. Yeah. Yeah. In the fence there's the turbine. Yes. The fence is directing the water. Yes. Inside. It goes under, underneath. Yeah. Then there is the turbine. Yes. And also you can have a, just a turbine without a fence. Okay, because you have a fence, there is a, uh, the water is accelerated because uh, suppose you have you, you have a not, you have nothing but you have a fan like this. Okay, due to the flow, it will it will rotate. But if you have a fan here, and if you have two barricades like that, the amount of water that is going to flow from here will accelerate through this through this gap. Okay, so that's the difference between a between a fence and, and a normal uh, turbine just in the water. That's, that, 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 that's, a, that's an animation which shows how our tidal barrage will work. But this one could be a two-directional barrage. This can, good question. This can be two-directional, uh, but there, there, there is a there is a problem as well. Uh, yeah, because uh, only <coughs> now in this direction it will it will rotate due to the height, but on the other direction it will just rotate due to the due, due, due to the wave or wave wave speed only. So it will be more effective on uh, in that direction, not that effective on the other direction. So, but uh, this one is effective on both directions, but not as effective as this one in one direction. Tidal fence and tidal turbine both. It will work, uh, they can work on both
do, do you know uh, what is meant by an estuary? Estuary? Okay. I learned a, a word here when I, when I came here. Um, wadi. Okay. Then, uh, yeah, I, I heard a wadi is a small river that is uh, dry. Is that right? I'm not going to you. Yeah, it's normally dry. Yes? <laughs> when it is raining only, it turns into a river. Yes? So that's a wadi. Yeah, but, but most of the wadis, most of the wadis near the sea, near the seashore, they have water. Yes? For example, Wadi Al Quir. It there's a there's a water flow. And that wadi is a in the in the mountains that the width uh, is uh, small yes but when it goes to the sea it opens like that it opens like that like a mouth yeah now that width is called an estuary 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 okay so uh, in an estuary what happens is a uh, <laughs> Because of the wadi flowing, uh, the estuary is that is is the estuary forms uh, part of the land as well as the sea. So near the sea, in the sea, in the in, uh, under the water, it still has a lot of uh, soil, a lot of uh, mud or soil in it. That means the seabed at an estuary is high. It's higher than the normal seabed. Agreed? Yes? Yeah. So, you can use an estuary to have a, a barrage like this because in a, near an estuary, you will have slightly higher tide. Okay? And you can raise the level of the water more in, a, uh, in, a, in an estuary. So, uh, you can... Uh, so, this is, a, this, this is an advantage of having a body as well near the sea. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so, a barrage or a dam, it is, uh, you, can, you can build a barrage across a estuary. Okay, because you have the river or the wadi coming out like that. And then you have a barricade afterwards because you have the seabed as well. Then, when the water is coming to the, towards the wadi, the water will collect in the estuary because it's a large area. Okay, near the sea, it's a very large area of flat land, slightly below the sea. Okay, so that, 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 is, that is what you are going to use for to collect a lot of water for tidal uh, energy generation, tidal uh, electricity generation. So, we trap the water behind the barrage and uh, then you create a head as well. Head means the height, yes? The height of water that you, that you create is the, is the head. And uh, then, when, during the low tide, you release the water through the turbine. And the turbine will rotate and uh, the, you will generate electricity. So the <clears throat> bad thing about this is, you, this is not continuous, is it? Because it, you, 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 can ha you can do this only during, you can collect water only during high tide. And you can release the water on up to a certain <laughs> limit uh, during low tide. But still good. You can generate electricity uh, for half a day. Okay. It's possible. And uh, solar, solar energy is the same, isn't it? I mean, you can only generate electricity during, uh, night, during daytime. So that's I need to store this energy somewhere. somewhere. Sorry? I need to store this energy somewhere else, like batteries or something like Or... Oh! If you have energy storage devices, yes. Good. Very good. And why it's not... Uh, um, well, st still, if you, if you can generate electricity uh, during over half a day, that's good enough, right? At least you have some storage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need, you need store, storage devices as well. Okay. 
So uh, <coughs> there are so M, M generation is the, the generation that I just talked about is called the M, called M generation, which is the, which is when the tide is falling. And uh, flood generation is tide is when the tide is rising. So F generation is better than flood, flood generation. And then you have the two two way generation as well. And this is a F generation when, when you when you have your uh, when your tide is falling. And that's uh, flood generation when the tide is rising. And that's the two-way generation. Okay. So you can still generate during low tide and high tide. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> if you have like a tide levels uh, going up from minus six to plus six, so that's the usable flood generation vol volume is uh, the one below. Usable uh, head generation volume is the one above, and uh, <clears throat> this is uh, the average level. So that's the basin level going up and down, and that is the ebb tide. This is the flood tide, and. Uh, This point you call the low tide, which call, or you, you call, which call the high tide. So, at this point you open the gates. That once you have, once you have, so you, you let the water collect up to here. Right? Then at this point you 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 you, you, you close you close the gate, and from this point to that point, you empty empty the water, generating electricity. So this is this is where you generate. Uh, electricity and uh, at this point during this time you can actually do uh, the flood generation as well if you want but uh, your, your basin fills up during that time the basin is sense basin basin is where you collect the water or the estuary basin is the estuary where you have built a dam And uh, your your turbines can also run uh, in in rivers to uh, empty empty the water levels as well. Sometimes uh, uh, that 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 also that is also possible, but it doesn't generate any electricity. Uh, but uh, but uh, head difference during pumping uh, is much less than uh, during generation. Uh, and doing the, by doing this, you can uh, increase the net power output. And that is actually a picture um, uh, in uh, which is called Siwa in uh, South Korea, uh, a tidal barrage. So that's the sea. That's where you, you you collect the water. And uh, there, the uh, main tidal range is uh, 5.6 to 8, 7.8 7 meters. So that's that's pretty good, right? 5.6 meters is five times. Uh, it's like uh, 25 foot more than that. Two and a half floors, right? Uh, no, sorry, sorry, about two floors. Five, 5.6 is uh, about uh, 18, 18, 18 feet. 7.8 is a, uh, well, that's pretty good actually. Two and a half floors. One, one and a half, two and a half floors. So the generation is 552.7 gigawatt hours per year. So that is because of the large volume of wood that you collect. And uh, this has uh, 10, 25.4 megawatt turbines. Now, 
with the tidal uh, energy generation, tidal electricity generation, you can't have like really large turbines because your head is small. Okay. Uh, did, uh, you, you did uh, hydroelectricity a little bit, didn't you? Yeah. So so to create hydroelectricity, you need you you have large heads, but with tidal, you can't have large heads. Maximum. Two three meters, right? So therefore, your turbines cannot your turbines cannot be really large. You you depend on the volume, not uh, on the height. Okay. And uh, what actually happened here was they created they they they, they created a freshwater lake uh, for to create. A, to pre prevent uh, flood, but uh, and they wanted to use the water for agriculture and industry, but the water was not good. Therefore, they, they didn't have a use of water. Then they converted it into a tidal and a tidal energy <coughs> generation plant. So um, here, again, um, uh, they, they wait for a two meter difference in the water levels to create, uh, to create generation. Uh, so even though the head is small, as long as you can, you can have a large volume of water, uh, you can still generate power. And this is a, a, another one in, uh, in, in France. Uh, you can see it. you can see the size of the estuary, right? I mean, this is inland. This is not e even uh, in the sea. So. <clears throat> this is the river basin. So in the river basin, uh, uh, it's a mixture of. Uh, salt, salt water, and uh, fresh water. So what, what you do is okay. You have the river, water flowing, and you have the <coughs> you have the sea. And when you collect, when when you open, when you close the gates during low tide, you have a really large head difference, isn't it? I want you. So that head difference can be used for uh, energy generation. So that's that's what you do. And uh, the good thing about these uh, gates or, or the barrages is if you have more water, what will happen? It will just overflow. OK, so, so these barrages. There is a road up there. Sorry? There is a road up there. Or, uh, yeah, in, in between. That's, that's, that's the road. Below, you have, you have the barrier. In between, you have a gap. Yeah. So it doesn't flood. <laughs> so you, you have to collect historical water level data before you before you do something like this. Otherwise, <laughs> the complete thing will be flooded. And uh, um, another thing is that uh, the, these uh, you do you select a river basin or a estuary because the width is so large that all the water that is coming is diffusing uh, at, at the estuary. So the even though you have a large volume of water flowing, it won't rise that much because it spreads. So again, you have a 24 megawatt turbine. So if, if you go back to your uh, Korean example, that also had 24.5 or something, 25.4. Similar type, similar size turbines, right? So that, that, that's what. And again, 10, the other one had 10 as well. <clears throat> now in here, this, uh, they can have uh, about 8.2 meter maximum height uh, and, uh, sorry, average height. 
and a maximum of 13.5 meter, which is large. Now that 13.5 is developed not just through not just using the tide. It's as you, as I said, it's because of the river as well. Okay, so you used some of the river height for that as well. If it was just the tide, it would be like eight point about eight meters. See, 30,000, 6,000 vehicles cross that road. And also, ships go through this as well. This. That's, that, that part is deep. There's a there's a beautiful bridge like this uh, uh, between uh, Denmark and Sweden as well. So it's a three, uh, two tier bridge. Uh, on top the we, uh, motor cars and the, uh, motor cars uh, travel, and the second in the second tier the train travels. Yeah, train, yeah. and and underneath that ships pass through. Uh, but uh, they don't collect water or anything like that there, but uh, there are a lot of uh, wind turbines uh, in that area because the seabed is quite um, stable in, in, the, in the height. The advantage of uh, water turbines compared to wind turbines is uh, how dense is water? What is the density of water? D density of water is nearly thousand, it, it's thousand kilo, kilograms per meter cube, right? And what's the density of air? It's, around, it's about one kilogram per meter cube. One point something, right? So that means it's it's like eight hundred times denser than water is eight hundred times denser than air. Meaning, the power that it can generate on a vane on a turbine is way higher than what it what what the wind can generate. Yes. So therefore, if you can run a water turbine, it will be much. You can generate more energy than with the wind turbine. Um, lagoons, lago lagoons are, the, in, in lagoons you don't have a river flowing, but they are uh, low Seabeds, or it's a it's a mixture of water. Uh, lagoons are a mixture of seawater and uh, fresh water. Okay. So again, if you can collect the, if you can have a barrage between the lagoon and the sea, and when you have tidal uh, differences, you can still uh, attract it, water behind the wall to create a head. Swansea Bay in UK uh, is uh, is a lagoon uh, where, where you have uh, like seven to nine uh, meters uh, meter spring tidal range, uh, and uh, they have created a nine kilometer uh, wall there, and uh, the area is eleven point five square kilometers. So it, even if you have a so it's eleven point five times Average eight is uh, you. You will have a volume of about eighty-eight um, square kilometer cube, right? <clears throat> so uh, 
it, it it again uh, generates about uh, 400, 240 megawatts uh, and that's uh, about 400 uh, gigawatt hours per year. And uh, if your level of the high tide, uh, the difference between the level of the high tide and the level of the low tide is R. Your power that you can generate is uh, proportional to the R squared. That R is the difference between the high tide and the low tide. Right? So we'll just uh, if the, the the center of gravity of this uh, large volume of water is R by two, yes. And uh, if you say the the volume is the area of the water at times r, and uh, the mass of that is area th that is the volume volume times rho. And that's the mass. Max and the potential energy is mgh. Your h is r by two. Therefore, if you substitute your the the Potential energy is rho g a r square over two. Yeah. So power is actually that uh, energy per time. So that's your <coughs> you divide by the time. And uh, if you do that uh, for uh, your Larange, uh, France, uh, uh, French uh, estuary, uh, the capacity is uh, 240 megawatts, and uh, spring tidal range is 13.5. Uh, Area is 12.4 uh, 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 hectares. Uh, sorry, uh, to, uh, tidal period is uh, 12.4 hours. So uh, your power is rho g a r squared over 2t. Uh, that, that, that is your 12.4 hours. Right? So your power is 20, 240 times 10 to the power 6. That is 200, 240 megawatts. And 1000 is the rho. 9.81 is g. Area is what is we are going to calculate. 13.5 is the R, the height, and uh, 12.4 hours is 12.4 times 60 times 60 times 2, yeah? So, then we solve for A, you will get 12 kilometers squared for the uh, area that we require for that. But the actual area is 22 kilometers squared rather than 12 kilometers squared because of the height difference. Do you want a break? Sorry? Okay, have a break then. Quick quick break and come back.